Hey everyone, my name is Matt Wellens. Welcome to the third installment of Mr. Cage's Wild Ride. <laughs> Welcome to Beyond Two Souls. I'm finally getting around to the third part of the Sadness Trilogy. I don't really know much about the actual story itself, but I do know that it features Ellen Page and William Dafoe, which makes it pretty high profile, I guess. And from what I can gather, it seems that the opinion on this game is pretty split. Some people who really like this game really hate Heavy Rain, and then some people who really like Heavy Rain hate this game. So I'm not sure what's going on there, but I will say that to begin with, I did not dislike Heavy Rain. I found it incredibly entertaining. <laughs> so I'm not sure whether that would become a future indicator of whether I will like this game or not, but I expect that this will be a completely wild ride, just like the rest of David Cage's works. Speaking of which, I think I should really try to forget that this game is associated with David Cage, because I think remembering that kind of puts a prejudice on my views. Because looking back, when I was playing Heavy Rain, I feel like I criticized it more than I would have if I didn't know it was a David Cage game, so... Let's try to leave that at the door and start anew. It gave me the choice of starting in chronological or remixed order or the original order. So original or remixed and I chose original here. I did actually try to look into this a little bit. I didn't really find a consensus on which one is better, but people were saying that the original version, the original order, made things unnecessarily complicated which is why I guess they added a chronological order. But some other people were saying that, hey, you know, do the original order because that's what they originally envisioned, right? So here I am with the original order. Hopefully that's for the best. I mean, they did do it in that order for a reason, right? So hoping that will pay off. But other than that, I think we can just jump right in. It says I have a save file already because when I first started the game, it immediately made me jump into the game. I was born with a strange gift. The ability to see what no human being has ever seen before. It's all mixed up in my head. The images, the sounds, the smell. I need to remember. Put things in order right up to this moment. Remember who I am. If I had to say how it all began, I might just as well start here. I'm hoping you mean from the beginning. I found you by the side of the road in the middle of nowhere. Was there an accident? Did, did someone try to hurt you? How about a name? Someone I could contact? You must have family, friends, someone who could tell me who you are. Don't talk much to you. Why is her head shaved? Well, if you don't help me, I can't help you. <sighs> oh, I get nowhere. <sighs> is that a scar? Is that a reason? To Whoa. We've got to stop them. They have no idea what they're up against. Tell them to wait until I get there. The Green Goblin. Get back to them immediately, you hear me? You've got to stop them. Goddamn fools. What's going on? Where are you brought it? 
happened earlier. Where is she? Am I super dangerous? I seem to have some sort of supernatural power, so that might be it. She left the one guy alone. Jody, what have you done? Okay. The experiment. Okay. Is that a timeline? Prologue is on the right side, so the experiment is after the prologue? Okay, this is us, right? Oh. <laughs> Come on, girl, you'll have plenty of time to play later. I mean, immediately, you don't get the feeling that this is a normal home because there's a guy with a lab coat over there. <laughs> this is like a set. Hmm. That's not the way, Jody. The camera. There's a goddamn camera in the corner. Watching my every move. No wonder I don't seem too happy. Is that Totoro? Oh. I know you're tired, Jody, but we really have to go. He's pretty patient with me. Hmm. I mean, this is a pretty artificial room, so I don't think we can say too much about this little girl just by looking at the room. Look at that! I'm barely taller than this counter over here. How old am I? Like, five, six? Okay. Those are pretty scary drawings. The purple person is herself, right? There is a ghosty figure that accompanies her all the time. Hmm. How do I watch that? Hurry, Jody. Wow, this looks like a real Disney show. Whoa. 
Whoa. What? What even? What even happened? I kind of blinked and then there were two people. The cat person and then the actual little girl. Whoa. That wand. He's really, really patient with me. Maybe because he's scared. I mean, earlier I seemed to display some pretty scary powers, so... He probably doesn't want to provoke me in case if I do any of that, right? Whoa, what? Everyone's turning into animals. Okay. How long is this gonna be? My finger is getting tired. What? I thought... I thought they were friends. Hurry, Jody. Oh, they're not enemies. Oh, I think that's the beginning again. Yeah, I think that's the beginning. Wow, I spent a long time watching that. <laughs> you just hang on here, okay? I'll come with you when I'm ready. Oh. I have all the toys I could ever think of here. Roller skates, guitars, TV, Barbie houses, Barbie dolls, books, teddy bears, everything. I don't look happy though. All right, Nathan's waiting for us. Nathan. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're not gonna lead me there? You're gonna let me just walk around? Wow. Are you kidding me? Come on, Jody. It's one thing for you to have surveillance on me all the time. It's another thing for you to be letting me look at that. What? How is that even okay? Like the act of surveilling me is already not okay. And then you're letting me look at all your equipment. Don't you think that will kind of skew your result? Whatever you're trying to look for? Okay. Ah, oh, come on. I don't have any more chance. Hi, Cole. Seriously? Hey, yeah. This nearly ready. It was beautiful. Jody, I'm here. <laughs> He's so fed up. Ready. Better late than never, I guess. You're impossible. Everybody's a scientist. Hello, Don't you look pretty today? Not really. I'm okay. Here we are. It's gonna rain this weekend. We got a lot of rain this year. I suppose that's true. Hasn't been particularly Hi, mister. Cold. No, it hasn't. Come on, Jody. Hurry, Jody. DPA. That's what it says on his sign, on his, uh, employee badge. DPA. Babysitting detail, huh, Cole? I'm waiting for you, honey. Yeah. <laughs> She's so done. Hey, Jody. How's your day been so far? Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> if you say so.
Ooh, okay. No further instructions mean this is not my first time doing it by a long shot. That's the kind of mirror with stuff on the other side, right? <laughs> Okay, we're gonna put this on now. Remember? It's just like a crown. Yeah, she totally bought that. Oh, yeah. Oh, now you're a little princess. <laughs> Don't worry. Everything's gonna be fine. I'm right next door if you need me, okay? Sure, sure. Hey, Jody, can you hear me? Eh. <laughs> okay, let's start. Kathleen is next door, and she has the same cards as you. And we're gonna get her to choose one and see if you can tell us which one she chose. You think you can do that? Sure. Good. All right, let's go for it. She's going through her rebellious stages, okay? First card. Oh, well, it's not the circle. Oh. What? Ooh, whoa. Oh, this is... I need to... Hang on, can I do that again? How do I do that? Hang on, hang on. I want to do that again. This is a little bit hard to control. Like, how do I freaking... Yeah, that's a star. What about here? What is happening? This heartbeat slows to 45 beats per minute. There's an increase in theta brain waves to 4.5 hertz. The ambient temperatures drop <laughs> 10 degrees. Is that a good thing? Detecting a resonant Oh my goodness. I didn't leave him alone. I didn't. I didn't miss Mr. Ghost over our shoulder in our paintings, huh? Oh, great. <gasps> you okay? Can't be touched. Yeah. Yeah. I'm fine. Oh, seems like he has no recollection of what goes on. Let's try that one again. It seems like Jody. This isn't Jody controlling the ghost person, though, Aiden. Oh. You feel that? The temperature's down. He's here. Oh. They know about me. So rather than this being a power that Jody can control, it doesn't seem like it's like that. How do I... How do I get that? Oh, this is so... I'm finding this quite difficult to control. Can you see the car, Jody? Okay. What else can I do around here? Like, am I just really dumb right now? But I find it so hard to go up and down. Oh, she doesn't like it. Hey, what was that? Looks like Aiden is not in a good mood today. He's just playing with us. Focus on the experiment. Yeah, I mean no harm. You better stop, Aiden. All right then, if you say so. I'm like tethered. Aiden, please do it. How far can I go? Not that far. Hmm. 
I'm tethered to her. How do I go back? It was a star. Next card. Again? Doesn't that get old? Well, yeah, scientific experiments need to be run more than once. Square? There's not much we can do around here. Next card. Okay. Wavy bacon. Very good, Jody. Let's try something else. There's some building blocks on the table in the other room. You think you can make them fall over? She doesn't seem like she wants to do any of this. You guys are just experimenting on her. What the heck? What was that? Kind of felt like I got knocked over by that camera. scare the lady too much. Can we do something a little bit further away from her? Yeah, not the cards. That seems a little bit close. Oh, she's so spooked. I'm sorry, lady. No hard feelings. Yeah, just just go, lady. I'm not interested in scaring the crap out of you. But I guess I have to. Oh my god. Jody, honey, the experiment is over. It's locked. The door's locked! I'm no, telling Kathleen you, it's is not locked. locked. It's probably Get just me out of here! A moment. Get me out of here now! Calm down, Kathleen. Go get the door. I don't want to hurt her. You have to stop now, Jody. The test is over. You need to stop. Leave it, I didn't- don't touch anything. <laughs> okay, Jody, honey, the experiment is over. It will never be over. Cause I'll always be here. Most people would leave Kathleen alone, right? She did nothing wrong. So I don't really want to hurt her. Yeah. Hang on. Stop the experiment so I could keep going and that's an unplayed path because I haven't done it before. And I can not leave Kathleen alone? That's pretty grim. Okay, so hang on. How does this timeline go? Does it go from left to right or right to left? What? I'm all grown up! What do I do if something goes wrong? There won't be anything you can do. That's what I suspected. Just checking. Who are these people? Uh, diplomats, politicians, businessmen, spies. It's the usual embassy crowd. But the most important thing, act natural. 
If anyone speaks to you, just smile. So do you want me to act natural, or do you want me to smile? <laughs> I didn't know you had a sense Sounds of humor. Sounds like Ellen herself. Only when I'm scared to death. Brian, I'm delighted you could attend. Always a pleasure she come in. I uh, would like you to meet my assistant, Elizabeth. I was unaware that American diplomacy Elizabeth. was undertaken with such disarming charm. The pleasure is mine, Elizabeth. Gentlemen, <laughs> I give you back your host. We'll talk later on. Until then, Ryan. He hates me. The whole time he was imagining my head on a stick. He found you charming. I should be flattered. Yeah, I'm gonna shake some hands, blend in, find some more quiet. You know what you have to do. What? Uh, ambassador, <laughs> you're a sight for sore eyes. I need to find a quiet place. First guess is I'm some type of spy utilizing my my ghost friend to find out details. Okay, let's find a quiet spot then. Probably not in front of the instrument playing people. <laughs> what? Did you seriously stop playing the moment I came here? Are you kidding me? Fine. <laughs> oh my goodness. Some sort of fancy high society party. I don't think I can go up there. Sorry, ma'am. This area is off limit. Embassy personnel only. Embassy. Okay. Sure. I don't know who the guy I came I with is. Find a quiet place. Yes. I don't know who the guy I came with is, but he looks like a freaking model. Mm, female and male. Can I actually go to the male toilet? Oh, I can. But that's kind of. Uh, probably not quiet, because in the female toilet, you can go to the stalls. Well, you can go to the stalls for the male ones too, but still. This isn't quiet. This is fancy as hell. Hayden. Hayden, are you ready? There's a large painting in one of the rooms upstairs. Behind it is a safe. The documents we're looking for are inside. But there are guards and cameras, so you have to be careful, you got it? Do I have to be careful? Because, uh, like, who the hell's gonna see me? <laughs> okay, let's go. Hmm. Hurry, I did. It looks like with growing it looks up- like hell when you're too far away. I was just gonna talk about that. It looks like with growing up. The range got a little bit further. Because when we were little, we couldn't have gone this far at all. An office with a portrait of the sheik. This is the place. Crap. You gotta distract the guard first. Okay. I'm gonna distract him. Oh. You're heavy. Okay. Nobody will be able to monitor the main office now. We should be safe. Okay. Sounds good. Is that the main office? Nope. Inani la uridu kasada amali. 
Uh, no need to disturb people, we don't need to. Forget about it. Where am I? Oh, this must be the main office. This one? No? Okay. There's gotta be a switch somewhere. To move the painting. Uh, usually. Oh, usually it would be around here, right? Oh, come on. Yeah, of course it's the one I looked in last. Oh! Now let's see if you can open the safe. Now we have to read the documents. Make it quick. I can disturb I electronics. Okay, now don't move. Is that even a language you know? Whoa! Why are you in the girl's toilet? Get out of here. Something like that? Friend? Well, this toilet is huge. Sorry. I can't do anything to help you. Good luck. Wow, looks like a... Hmm. Looks like we're part of some sort of multifaceted organization here. Or operation, at least. You feeling okay? Jody, right? Elizabeth must be a fake name. Well, you gotta look a little bit better than that to go outside. It doesn't look like you just ran a marathon. You sure you don't want to just stick around in here for a little bit first? Because you really don't look too good. Alright. Are we gonna find Ryan? Jody, all right? Don't touch me! What? I wanna go now. Right, and yeah, we're leaving. Inconspicuous. Am I getting a trophy for every scene? You cannot finish the mission. Can you fail it? Finish the mission with Aiden only. Oh, can someone else interfere? Pause the video undetected. Finish the mission without shake. Who's that? The lady? Hmm.